Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another speed run career sim for you guys. Today we're going to be doing the career of Tristan Jazz or T Jazz. You might know him. He's the layup king. If you haven't seen any of his layups, then you know I don't know what you're doing. But um, yeah, so let's get right into his career. The Pistons with the first overall draft pick uh, here. I'm pretty sure they would take T Jazz. I don't know why. You yep, see, there he is, T Jazz. As you can see, he's 5'10", really light guy, um, 83 overall. Uh, he's compared as Derek Rose, so that's pretty cool. And Jose, I, I don't know who that is, so I'm not even going to attempt to say that. His weakness is probably defense. His strengths are all offense. In season number one, TJS is going to be starting at the point guard position and is now an 84, so probably did some summer training. At the end of the season, he's going to win Rookie of the Year with honestly a really nice stat line, almost like 30 points, that's pretty cool. And since he was obviously Rookie of the Year, he's going to be on the All-Rookie First Team as well. Sadly though, with a record of 36 and 46, we, uh, we don't make the playoffs. And the 76ers are your NBA champions with Joel Embiid winning Finals MVP. In season number two, Cheech Jass is now an 89, and the team around him looks pretty trash if we're being honest. At the end of the season, he has no awards, but T Jass is going to make it onto the uh, All NBA third team in his second year, so that's honestly pretty impressive. And looking at defensive team, I don't see him being on one. And once again, with a horrendous record, the Pistons do not make the playoffs, and the Pelicans are your NBA champions with Zion Williamson winning finals MVP. In season number three, T Jass is now a 90, so I think he went up one overall, and the team around him is trash. Sadly, once again, no awards for T Jass but it does look like he's going to be on the All-NBA third team again. Uh, on, I don't think he's going to be on the defensive team. I'll check really quick. Yeah, no defensive team. And with an even worse record, we still don't make the playoffs. But the Boston Celtics win an NBA championship, and Jason Tatum is the finals MVP. In season number four, the team is still abysmal, and uh, T. Jass is a 91 though, so I mean, I guess that's on the uh, on the plus side. At the end of the season, T. Jass is going to be on the second team this time, so you know that's good for his you know his career standpoint, but that's kind of it for him. And once again, we do not make the playoffs, and the Spurs are your NBA champions with Kate Cunningham. In season five, T. Jass is now a 96, and our team looks honestly a little bit better. No awards for TJS again, but looking at all NBA teams, he's going to be on the second team once again. And looking at defensive teams, I don't really see him being on one, but you know, doesn't hurt to check. And yep, no. But with a record of 40 and 42, we are able to make the seventh seed. Thank, like, holy crap, I needed some gameplay. It looks like it won't be enough, though, because, uh, actually, you know what? We did take the second seed to a uh, game six, so that's pretty impressive on our part. But, you know, we're going to lose here by about, what's that, 20, 26 points, I think? I'm going to, no, that's not 26 points, but, you know, it's close enough, as that was a pretty nice three. Um, but yeah, with about a minute left, you know, is there a comeback here? Probably not. <coughs> TJS bricks another shot. That's like his second time. I'm gonna send it down. That's a nice pass to... I don't know who that name is, but... Yep, we, uh, we lose. But the, uh, Boston Celtics win another one with, uh, Jason Tatum also winning another Finals MVP. In Season 6, the team doesn't really look like it... Actually, no, the team looks like they improved as a team better, and TJS is still 96. At the end of the season, TJS is gonna win MVP. Looking at all NBA teams, he's obviously gonna make the first team if he wins MVP. And looking at defensive teams, he's probably not going to be on one. And from worst to first, with a record of 64 and 18, the Detroit Pistons are going to be the first seed finally. But of course, that actually doesn't matter as we lose to the New York Knicks in Game 7. That is just great. Yep. Let's go, Detroit Pistons fans. And the Milwaukee Bucks win an NBA championship with uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. In season number seven, T Jazz is now a 98, and the team around him honestly looks so good. At the end of the season, he doesn't get any awards, but looking at uh, all NBA teams, he makes the second team and probably won't make any defensive teams. Yep, nope. And somehow we don't make the play. This really just isn't making sense anymore. Good job to Boston, though, because they get another one with Jason Tatum. In season number eight, we're going to jump ships and go to the Spurs, which is uh, where Kate Cunningham, the second overall pick, I'm pretty sure was, or is now. So uh, we have a nice, actually, we have a solid roster on our hands. No awards for TJS, but looking at the uh, all-NBA teams, he's going to be on the second team once again. So 
you know, still performing very well, so that's, you know, that's good. Uh, no defensive teams yet, though, so we still got to work on that. And with a record of 45 and 37, we are the seventh seed, so not as good as I thought. In game five, we outclass the uh, second seed here. Uh, just showing you some gameplay because I haven't really played as TGS yet, so you know, I thought uh, I might as well hop in, hop in with the sticks here and make that nice little layup with me. There we go. But yeah, you know, uh, somehow we, uh, we beat the second seed, so you know, go us. In the second round here with the Lakers, we got a tie game, 141-141, game 7. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a nice beat drop on here right now. Yeah, there we go. Let's see TGS. Oh, come on, let's see something. Let's go. Okay, at the end of the shot clock, are you kidding me? Still some time left. Maybe the Clippers are gonna end it here. I'm not gonna... Oh, okay. No, that's a brick. Wow. Uh, but we're actually gonna beat them in OT, so, you know, go us. In the conference finals, sadly, we're gonna lose to Portland. We we honestly went on a nice run as the seventh seed there, so, you know, I'm pretty impressed with ourselves, but nope, we're gonna lose to Cat in the Portland Trailblazers. Then they are gonna go on to win a championship. In season number nine, the team gets a little bit worse, but, you know, TGS is still holding strong at a 99 overall. No awards for TJS, sadly, once again, but looking at all NBA teams, he's going to make the second team once again. He's made the second team a bunch of times, uh, but no defensive team. With a record of 44 and 38, we are the four seed. In game seven, we're going to beat the Mavs, so yeah, good for us. Sadly, however, we're going to lose here to the Pelicans in game, uh, in game four here, or game five, I should say, sorry. Uh, you know, we had a good fight, you know, I guess. Uh, but the Pelicans are actually going to win the uh, championship, so, you know, maybe we would have won it. Season 10, the team doesn't really change that much. TJS is still strong at a 99. No awards, but for the first time in a long time, TJS makes the LNBA first team. It's It's been a minute since we've seen that, and uh, no defensive team again. With a record of 41 and 41, we are the 8th seed. As most 8th seed stories go, we, uh, we're going to lose here in Game 4, or Game 5, sorry. So we did take a game on them, so, you know, that's actually... That's a really impressive feat, but, you know, sadly not enough as, uh, I'm gonna play around as TGS here for the last couple of seconds, I'm gonna, maybe gonna try to hit a game winner, nope, oh, not a game winner, but a buzzer beater, you know what I mean. But the Suns are gonna win an NBA championship. In season number 11, the entire team kind of looks like it's regressed a bit, but TGS is still a 99 in his prime. Sadly, no awards for him again, but he is on the NBA first team again, so, you know, he's doing something right, that's good. Uh, we like to see that. Looking at defensive teams, though, I don't really see him being on one once again. And we uh, sadly don't make the NBA playoffs. The Suns go back to back, though. In season 12, we jump ships again. Now on the Sacramento Kings with an honestly a pretty stacked team. Right, everyone's over, you know, like almost over an 80 over 85 overall. TJS on his newly formed stacked team wins uh, MVP. He is, of course, going to be on the All-NBA first team, you know, because he won MVP. And looking at defensive team, it really doesn't look like he's going to be on one. Yep, nothing. And with a record of 63-19, and 19, we are the first seed. We are going to sweep the Pelicans, but sadly, these goddamn Phoenix Suns are uh, they're going to beat us in Game 6 here. I don't know what it is. I think this is like the second or third time the Phoenix Suns have stopped us from making, like, any movement in the playoff or yeah any movement in the playoffs so you know that's just great and uh, the Memphis Grizzlies are your NBA champions in season number 13 TJS is still a 99 and the rest of his team is honestly still really really good at the end of the season TJS is gonna make the all NBA first team and you know at this point I'm not even gonna bother to check the defensive team somehow we don't make the playoffs again and the Chicago Bulls are your NBA champions in season 14, the team is honestly, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I feel an NBA championship coming here. TJS makes the NBA first team. I'm not going to bother checking defensive team. And with a record of 48 and 34, uh, Sacramento is the fourth seed. In the first round, we are going to beat Minnesota in game five. But sadly, in game seven, lose to Denver. Uh, oh, as TJS hits a nice three there, but... Nope, sadly should have been doing that throughout the entire game. And Denver is actually going to go on to win an NBA championship with Jermatt. Who the hell is that? In season 15, TJS is now a 95 and the rest of his team is starting to increase as well, so that's good. In a long time, he is not going to make the NBA first team. Uh, he is going to be on the second team though. He's back to his original home. And with a record of 42 and 40, uh, we are the seventh seed. 
We're going to beat the Thunder and the Nuggets to move on to the, uh, to the conference finals. And for the first time ever, we're going to beat the Pelicans and we are going to go to the NBA finals. In the finals here, a close one, 106 to 104 with about 45 seconds left. We're going to send it down to, is that, I'm going to assume that's, yeah, it does say Johnson, so I'm gonna, we're going to see it down. TJS with a nice pass to Baylor, that's good. Bulls now, 106 to 106, a nice three from the Bulls there. Sacramento with the ball at the top of the feet. Seven seconds left, six seconds left. We gotta make a shot. Let's go, Johnson. Hit that shot. Hit the mid-range. No. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, my God. Okay. About one second left. There we go. We're... That was so clean. Okay. Sadly, that just postponed our inevitable fate as we lose to the Bulls in OT here. They kind of blew us out in OT, which is pretty disappointing, but... Uh, yeah, the Bulls are your NBA champions. And with that, after 15 years pro, even though it says 14 there, t Jess is going to retire as a high overall as well. On his career, he averaged 28 points, which is pretty impressive, 7.4 rebounds and 8.4 assists. In terms of his accolades, he was a two-time MVP, a 14-time All-Star, a six-time All-NBA first and second team, third team twice, rookie of the year, and all rookie first team. In terms of NBA records, he would finished eighth in total points, 10th in field goals made, 14th in three-pointers made, 30th in free throws made, 91st in rebounds, which is pretty impressive considering he's 5'10". T. Jess finishes 17th in assists, 4th in steals even though he never made an all-defensive team, and lastly 75th in minutes played. T. Jess, of course, gets uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame and gets his jersey retired not only with the Kings but with the Pistons as well. And that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. It really helps out the channel, makes us grow so other people can see our content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Also, comment down below if you want to see anybody in particular. But um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care and peace.